Hello? I found this launcher which is legacy launcher to play Minecraft on any platform. It's actually playable without launchers since it is Java based. And I thought of looking for it in the AUR. And here it is. This is the latest uh, updated one and it sounds like it is maintained if I'm not mistaken. So let's install it together. We have two methods to install any AUR package. The first one is the manual one by running git clone. You need to, of course to have git installed on your system. And you paste the link that we copied from this page, which is HTTPS. Uh, this one, this one. It's this, uh, it's not this one, but it's this one. Uh, HTTPS colon double forward slash AUR dot arch Linux dot org slash legacy dash launcher dot git. Uh, you copy this one here. You clone the repository from there. And then after it's done cloning, I'm not going to run this command. You change directory to legacy, legacy launcher this way. I'm not going to run this one either. Even if I run it, nothing will happen. And then we make the package by running the command um, make pkg dash si. And it's going to prompt us to input the password, etc. Maybe press Y or press enter many times. The second method is the automatic method using an AUR helper, which summarizes the three commands into one. If it is EA, it should be EA dash uppercase S legacy launcher. Uh, if you have any other AUR helper, you need to make sure that the syntax is correct. Let's press enter and see how it goes here. Enter again. Enter again. Actually, I recorded this video before once but the audio was disabled so i had to do this again so let's press y enter here and it's done installing uh, let's see it legacy here it is usually if you install this package it will keep the personal files intact without removing that's why here the game that i downloaded before i told you i tried to install this before and i forgot to make sure that the audio is on so i made the user here you manage and create accounts here you add the user like this you choose whichever you want including this one you input whichever name like let's say techni you add the account like this, you go back home, you choose whichever version, let's say uh, the release 1.21.9, you in click install and play, it will download some files and then you will be able to install it. After you download those files, it becomes enter the game or it will take you directly to the game in case you uh, stop it or switch it off the launcher i mean quit out of the launcher and then get back in the game that was downloaded is gonna be there and you can simply click enter the game uh let's cl click yes here if the, there is an update it will recommend you strongly to update the game i need to make sure that it works and show show it to you the game since I did this before, yeah, yeah, here it is, I thought it, that it crashed or something, full screen maybe, single player, and the new world that I created is there, and it's working as you can see, this is a cool way to play Minecraft. I played it before and it's just the beginning, the the most beginning of the game. So that was how you uh, download Minecraft and play it on Arch Linux using Legacy Launcher. 
before I finish the video, I thought of telling you that you can install Legacy Launcher from the Flatpak, which means that you can install it on almost any Linux distribution. To install it, the command should be like this Flatpak install ch.tlaun.tl uppercase. TL should be uppercase. Press enter, and here you can see that this will install it for us. Y and enter again. It will give us the dependencies and everything. And one of them should be the legacy launcher. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. And peace.